So for the needle grinder, at any given point, you can have three active screens open. I'll go through some of the screens and show how you can change them. So usually the operator can just leave whatever three screens they plan to use the most, most during a normal operation. If you want to change the screen because you might be doing a dress or something like that, you would select in the top left corner of any panel and it will open up all of your options for different screens. Uh, for example, our work dress screen. This is a screen you use to do all of your dress operations. You can set your start position and end position, how much you're dressing for fast, that kind of thing. Another screen we could look at, the setup screen. This screen shows the axes that we operate on for the machine. I could also set the robot angle and our tool offset here and make adjustments to the robot positioning. We have a robot pendant screen. The screen lets you see the program that the robot's currently running. You can see what line it's on, check the status in the top left corner to see if you have all errors, anything like that. The diagnostic screen where you can enable and disable uh, the spindle, the collet, and the robot. The jog screen where you can jog the collet. You can rotate the collet incrementally or, uh, or you can just jog it continuously. You can jog the work wheel dresser. You can jog that across the wheel and you can also jog the diamond dresser uh, down into the wheel. We have an alarm page. This will just show any active alarms. We have the ability to set up various uh, users, set up uh, their level of access into the various screens. You can set up as many as you want. You can put passwords on all of those. We have the settings screen. This just has various settings. You can turn your uh, coolant tank on and off, your auxiliary coolant tank. You can change the entire interface from inches to metric and it will automatically convert. We have some additional settings in here that you can make uh, some offsets, adjustments for things like the high pressure blast, deeper the parts. And we have a part load and a part unload screen. Uh, this is for our automatic load and unload uh, configuration. On the top of the screen we have our grind screen. From here we can control the wheel, the speed, we can open and close the collets, and we use the screen to start the cycle and change the machine from manual to automatic. At the bottom we have our part select screen. This is where we keep all of our programs that you have already run and saved, so you can access any of these programs at any time and just download them. And the last screen is the part creator screen, and that shows the grind program that you're currently in.